Hello everyone and welcome back. In my last vlog, I showed you that I went IKEA shopping and asked if you would like to see a haul. With all the positive response, today I decided to give you a quick haul along with sharing some recipes. I went on a little vacation last week and came back so refreshed. This time during vacation, I tried a vegetable sandwich in a cafe that I thought of replicating at home today. The main difference was adding the cucumber and grilling the sandwich. The taste of warm cucumber in the grilled sandwich was very delicious. So, with all the other veggies, this time I added the cucumber for the change in flavor. I added all the basic spices to the vegetable mix and smeared some cheese on the bread slices. Then I stuffed the sandwich with a lot of filling to get the maximum flavor in my sandwich. Toasted and grilled sandwiches are always my top preferences over cold ones. After morning exercise, I was super hungry and was too tempted to eat a lot of breakfast. Since homemaking is so demanding, I feel that for a homemaker, Mini vacations really help in pulling us away from those zillion thoughts that occupy our minds all the time. I badly needed this break and I can really feel the difference in my thoughts now. Homemakers' responsibilities will never subside. And to keep up with the pace, I take Phytica Vita 365 multivitamins. The supplements provide me with those missing nutrients that many a times get missed in day-to-day -day food or cooking. Phytica Vita 365 contains antioxidants that help enhance energy, stamina, immunity, hair and even skin. Ingredients like ginseng extract helps improve mental alertness and ashwagandha improves muscle strength. With the goodness of vitamins, micronutrients, minerals and probiotics, Phytica Vita 365 helps me achieve a productive life without time too hard. Not to miss, it is also a bestseller on Amazon and Flipkart. Purchase links are available in the description box for you all to check. Once the array is up, I feed him his breakfast and then do some basic house chores. He is usually not very active or demanding in the morning, so I utilize that time to work around the house. I unpacked a lot of stuff but my own bag was pending so thought of finishing it off before Dere gets ready to go to school. I had shared a few glimpses of my vacation on Instagram as well. So if you want to peek into my day to day life, do join me there. Dere goes to school for 2 hours and I intend to achieve a lot during this time. By the way, a lot of you had asked me about the solution that I use to clean the furniture. I usually don't believe in complicating my cleaning too much. So this is a simple solution of water and vinegar mix. This doesn't leave any white cast behind and works fairly well on wooden surfaces. And here is the IKEA haul as promised.
So starting with some kitchen items. I picked these microfiber cloths that come in sets of three. Cleaning cloths are the most used items in the kitchen so I do replace them frequently and hence pick this set. The next purchase is these deep bowls. Deep bowls are perfect for portion control and come in handy in a lot of food that we eat. Last time I bought deep dishes in a similar crockery segment. I just find them way better than plates as the food doesn't spread much. Next are these set of small airtight glass containers. There are times when we are left with some small quantity of leftover food that needs to go back in the fridge. So I found this set an absolute solution for that. I had the one in bigger size and was happy with the quality of the container so bought the smaller versions this time. Next are few kitchen towels. I like fresh towels and fresh napkins in the kitchen every time so couldn't stop myself from buying these. I also use these towels to store my herbs or place chapati in the casserole. I was eyeing these kitchen napkins for quite a long time. I like placing napkins below my plate while working in the kitchen as it gives me a very clean feel. The quality of the napkins is also good. And I like how simple they are with very minimal print. Also, when I do some food photo shoots, I need some subtle prints to create texture in the photo and they fit perfectly well in that scenario. Next is not related to the kitchen, but I got these travel cubes and pouches for packing purposes. Karthik travels a lot and these pouches will help me organize his packing in a much better way. The pouches can be used as shoecases or even as laundry bags. And in these cubes, I can organize his regular stuff. Continuing with the kitchen items. My love for these Korean jars is eternal. I can't tell enough how brilliant and airtight these jars are. This time they launched one with embossed design which will be an added beauty to my snack counter. And similarly, I bought the smaller ones for storing small items like garlic etc in the fridge. They come in a set of three and are just so cute. Jars are never enough in the kitchen I feel. So just went ahead and bought some. Next is this organizer. You know ever since I bought my crockery cabinet, I never organized it. So I thought of picking a few organizers from IKEA this time. These are very sturdy and made up of metal and are best to utilize the vertical empty space in the cabinets. Well, there are still a lot of other items to show but before Derek comes back from school, I'll quickly make some lunch and be ready with it. So wait for the second part of this haul after this lunch break. After all the eating out during vacation, I was craving for some real desi food and thought of making my all time favorite gatte ki sabzi. I am from Jaipur and I absolutely love the local cuisine of Rajasthan. For the gatte ki sabzi, I'll start with some basic preparation. For the gatte preparation, I'll take around 1 cup of besan and some spices that add some flavor to the flour. I'll also put the water to boil before starting to knead the dough. For kneading, I'll add some ghee into the flour and mix it well. And then add 2 to 3 teaspoons of curd to bind it into a soft dough. Now I'll cut the dough and roll the gatte in long logs and boil them for 7 to 10 minutes till they start floating on the top. For the gravy, I'll add some spices with the garlic and keep a slurry ready. Now in some oil, I'll add cumin seeds and pour the garlic slurry and cook it well. This avoids the spices to burn. Once the garlic is cooked, I'll add chopped onions and minced garlic. In the spices, go garam masala, red chilli powder and lots of hing and saute till onion turns golden brown. 
then add chopped tomatoes or tomato puree as per your choice and mix everything well gatte is done and i'll cut them into small shapes gatte tastes amazing with tangy gravy so i'll add curd to the gravy and cook it for 7 to 8 minutes once done i'll add the gatte and the remaining water in which i boil them adjust the gravy as per your liking gatte usually thickens with time so keep that in mind in the end add kasuri methi and garnish with chopped coriander and roasted cumin powder Summers are here so today instead of curd I'll make chaat and keep it ready I use the same raita masala that I shared in my recent vlog I'll link that vlog in the description box below Dare eats and sleeps before Ruthvi comes back home from school and I eat with her Ruthvi is not a big fan of gatte but I would still serve it with the hope that she'll develop the taste someday a homemade well desired lunch is so satisfying gatte tasted amazing but not as amazing as mom's made of course coming back to where we had left let's start with our haul again The next set of items is mostly organizers and home decor. First up are these cardboard organizers. It was a set of 3 and I needed them to organize kids cupboards. Both my kids share the same cupboard and so things get mixed up a lot. I have the bigger size of this organizer and after using it I went ahead to get these smaller ones. I really like the fact that they are collapsible. and can be easily stored when not in use with handles they work as pull out drawers in the almira and the colors are also very beautiful for kids almira continuing with the metal organizer i bought these metal shelves again detachable and collapsible they come with the screws to fix the legs and are ikea's best sellers shelves create a lot of space in the cabinets to keep more items I also picked the bigger shelf along with two smaller ones. Since they have a relatively long life, I think I can make the best use of them at different places in the house. Next is this wooden wall shelf. It comes with a rail to hold things. I picked it up to place near my dressing mirror to keep a few small items nearby like perfume etc. Wood brings a lot of warmth in the room, so I thought of just going with it. Next are these magnetic hooks that will go on the washing machine. The hold is very strong and can carry the load of lighter laundry that I keep separately in a mesh bag like socks, handkerchiefs, etc. Moving to home decor items and to show my plant babies some love, I picked some pot covers. This one is a big metal pot cover. I had the smaller one from IKEA. and the good part is that it still holds its shine so i bought another one for the bigger pot this is made up of metal so it's unbreakable and unlike metal planters this one doesn't rust gold is a part of my house aesthetic so i'm loving this pot cover a lot next are these mini ceramic planters i do some plant propagation and those black plant pots look very ugly So I pick them to add more beauty to those plants. The other small pot is this beautiful dotted ceramic pot. I love the waves on the edge the most. And so happy with the fact that they literally make the plant look more beautiful. Next for home decor, I picked some candles and stands. I really like these lantern style candle stand, so I immediately picked it. It has this magnetic mini door to place the candle inside. I also bought the pillar candle to go with this stand. These candles look very nice placed on floors. I guess perfect for those date nights when once in a while kids sleep early. For smaller candles, 
I picked these set of four and one scented candles as they really evoke our senses well. I love lighting candles but stop doing it after kids for safety reasons. But now whenever I'll get time, I'll make the most use of them. I also bought this small ribbed glass tea light candle holder. I'm in love with all things ribbed so picked it for layering my candle setup whenever I'll do them. Another item in the candle decor are these stick candle holders. They come in such simple and minimal design that I fell in love with them. These are made up of metal so they are easy to clean and look so chic and classy for those special dinner table setups. Next is the furnishings. This bed sheet is for kids room. Colorful chevron print will help to brighten up the kids room very well. The next two bed sheets are for the other two rooms of the house. These are cotton bed sheets and come with four pillow covers and I love the print of this one. The next one has some traditional print to bring a different contrast to the mood. I also got one cool comforter from IKEA. I feel very cold in ACs and IKEA had multiple choices so I picked this one which is not warm but will still give me a cozy sleep. And of course I also bought a comforter cover but in a neutral color to go with any decor. I don't really like blank walls so I bought some wall hangings. This is a photo frame that I can hang on the wall with my favorite photos and can even place on tabletop. The best part is that you can easily replace the photos inside without being worried about the size. So I can put new quotes every day or maybe place new inspirations for myself. I also got these hexagon shaped mirrors for all the wall. I love putting mirrors around the house as they give a bigger perspective to any small space. Again, they can either be hung on a wall or placed on the dressing table. Next up is the pendulum wall clock. My day runs on routine and time management plays a major role. I wanted one clock for the dining area and I found this one very neat and simple. The next is this very clean and simple looking table lamp for my office desk. There are times when I have to work late at night for editing, so decided to buy this one. I was confused with other models, but one can never go wrong with white. It looks pretty, even placed in the corner of the room. I love warm lights and can't wait to set this up at my desk. Another lamp is this side table lamp and needless to say, I picked it because of the ribbed glass top. I mean, gold base with a ribbed glass top was calling out for my name. This one doesn't come with a bulb, so I bought one from IKEA only. And that was the last item of my shopping. I hope you enjoyed watching this shopping haul. If you did, like this video, subscribe to the channel and share which item you like the most in the comment section below. Join me on Instagram for some daily life updates and behind the scene fun and I'll see you in my next vlog. Until then, stay tuned and stay connected.